Hey, how you doing? My name is RJ, and I just want to talk to you for a minute about Jawbreakers Lost Souls. Now, if you don't know what Jawbreakers Lost Souls is, it's a comic that's written by Richard C. Meyer. Uh, you might know him as Diversity in Comics. He has an Indiegogo page uh, campaign going on right now. I think it started about 10 days ago, and it's got about 14, 13 days left. Um, so I got to know about this through his YouTube channel, Diversity in Comics. Uh, there we call him Zach. So if I talk about him, I'll probably call him Zach here. Anyways, he had done uh, one other book originally back in 2017, and it was just a self-published thing. Uh, not the quality that is going to come out of this book. But uh, if you go to this Indiegogo page, and look at the art that's coming in this new book. This is this is professional art. This is a professional book. So I am going to put the link in the description for the Indiegogo Go page. Go look at that. Um, Zach is one of those people who his enthusiasm is contagious. And I didn't know originally whether or not I was going to back this. But again, I went to the page where he had posted some of the art. And it's beautiful. Go look at it yourself. And when I saw that and when I got caught up in the enthusiasm that Zach puts out there, I knew that I was going to back this thing. So I scraped together the $25, uh, which I needed, which is more for me because I live in Canada because I had to pay for shipping. So I think it's about 37 And um, I went and I ordered a copy of this book. Now, since the start of the Indiegogo campaign, Zach has started to... Uh, put upgrades into the perks that he has already offered everybody. So it doesn't matter if you've already ordered or will order in the future. He's started putting more into this comic the more money comes into his Indiegogo page. Right now, originally it was supposed to have a floppy cover. Right now it has a card stock cover. Uh, he also upgraded... The fact that there is going to be a second cover uh, that is done by Ethan Van Skyver. Uh, and soon, uh, when he hits 70,000, which I think is going to happen in the next couple of days easily, he's going to have an entire second book that's going to come with the first book that you're going to get. Now, the first book, Jawbreakers Lost Souls, is 50 pages. The second book is a smaller book. It's 25 pages. Um, but the art in this smaller book alone is spectacular. Um, go again, look at this stuff on his page and you will want to order this. And these are the kinds of things that he is offering. These are the kinds of things that he is going to give you for your money. And he's a comic fan and he knows what comic fans want and he's given it to us. So I just need to tell people to go and order this book. This is going to be something, uh, for comic history. I can tell you right now, to give you a little history of myself, uh, I originally collected comics in the late eight, late 70s, 80s and 90s, and I went through the whole speculation craze thing and I hated it, but I contributed a lot to it, I'm sure, because I did stupid things like buy 125 copies of X-Men number one, which are still sitting in my closet, which are never going to be worth any money. But... And here's the thing. I've listened to a whole bunch of videos about Jawbreakers as it's coming out and the hype that's around it, and it's well-deserved. But I think there's an elephant in the room that nobody else is sort of talking about, and the speculator in me will not shut up. So i got to say this. This book is going to be worth money in the future. It might take 20 years, but it's going to be worth something. Um, in the 10, 12 days since... He has got this Indiegogo page up. He is going to change the way comic books are made. He's just going to change the way comic books are made because he has taken input as it comes into him from the fans and he has incorporated that into what the book is. He has changed the story. He has made it better. He has given people what they want. He has given them a better product. He's using social media to do this. He's doing all the things which nobody else is doing right now which everyone else, if they had any sense, would be doing, but they're not. And it's just going to change the way comic books are made. I mean, right now, 
Marvel is pretty much dead. Uh, it's thrown itself on its SJW sword, and the last kicks of its corpse are just happening now. Maybe someone will be able to resurrect it sometime in the future, but it's pretty much dead right now. DC, it makes good books, but sometimes it gets them right, sometimes it doesn't. It's old. It just it seems weary in a lot of ways. And if you have other things like Image Comics, Image Comics will never be able to incorporate something new like this into their structure. They just won't. If you want to get something published with Image Comics, you got to have four or five, maybe even up to ten comics ready before they'll even agree to publish them for you. And you can't take input from the fans and put it into a book when the books are already made. So this is going to change the way the books comic books are made. It's going to do that. It's going to shake up the industry. It has already shaken up the industry. It seems like it's shaking people up right now. But this, plus a number of other reasons, is why I think that this is going to be a comic that is going to be worth something in the future. So go order a copy. Order more than one copy. Zach wants everybody to treat this book like it's something to pass around, you know, throw it to your nephew or something like that fine. That's great. He wants it like that. He wants it to be fun. That's what a lot of people want, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're a collector, you need to have at least one copy of this book, because it's a number one. Uh, it's the introduction, the formal, I would say, introduction of these characters, which I can see having a large following in comics in the future. Um, it's going to have a low print run, and it has all of these extra things on top of it because there's going to be a copy which is going to go into the stores, but it's not going to have all these extras. It's not going to have, uh, I do believe also he's going to sign all the copies. Um, so it's going to be autographed. It's going to have a second cover. It's going to come with a second book. All of these things you're going to get if you already have ordered a copy or if you will order one before this Indiegogo campaign is over. So... You need to go and buy this book. If you have any interest in collecting comics, go buy yourself at least one copy of this book. It's going to be worth uh, at least $1,000 pretty soon because it's changing the industry and he is changing the industry. And if you want to compare it to anything, I'd say compare it to Frank Miller's Dark Knight. That changed the way comics were made. It was a beautiful book. It was well made and it just changed the industry. And I think this is what is going to happen here as well. So I am going to go order another copy of this book. I'm, I'm going to have to scrape together the money to do so. And I don't want the $50 perk, uh, which comes with a poster. I want another copy of this book because it's fun. It's what the fans want, all of those things. And it's great, but it's comic history right here in the making. And I don't think I'm being dramatic at all. And I have a fairly good history with comics and with collecting comics. And I know the good and the bad of all of that. So anyway, that's the basic thing that I want to tell everybody. And to just go order a copy of this book. You need to do so. If you're serious about comics, go and do that. Um, I think uh, one of the other reasons, too, why... This is going to be worth something and why it's going to change things is because I don't think it's the last nail in the coffin of SJW Comics. I think it's the hammer that's going to drive all of the nails in. That's what this book is. That's what Zach is doing. And we need to support that if we want to make comics better. And his enthusiasm for comics makes you want to make comics better. And that's, I think, what we all want. Anyway, so this is just... The first video I posted here, hopefully I'm going to post more. So hit like, hit subscribe. I don't know why in God's name you would do so when I got nothing up here. But do that. Just let me know if anybody wants to hear anything more from me. Uh, I'm hoping to post more soon. Uh, I like to talk about heroes. And that's what I'm going to do. New books, old books. Uh, I think I'll talk a lot about uh, old runs of good books. Anyways, when you're done here, click on the Indiegogo page. Go and look at the art which is in the first book, hunt down some of the pictures of, which are on the screen right now for the second book. It's beautiful. And this is going to be something 
that every comic collector wants. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.